Yo, what's good guys? It's Nightwing2303. I went to Nordstrom Rack, so I don't know how to title this video. Whatever the title is, that's what I came up with, obviously. But I went to Nordstrom Rack, haven't been there in quite some time. At least I haven't found anything there in quite some time. I don't go nearly as often as I used to. But like I said, I went, ran into something cool, at least in my opinion. So I just wanted to show it with you guys. I guess we'll call this like a, a random steel pickup or something. I don't know, who cares? Here they are. This, in case you guys do not know, is the Nike Blazer. Not only that, this is the OG version. It came equipped with this little card right there. Gives a little bit of history about the shoe. If you guys wanted to read all about it, all you gotta do is just pause the video right here. Hopefully it's not blurry. If it is, I'm sorry. These guys right here are most known nowadays for skating. They're kind of like a staple in the SB line. However, this is not one of the SB models. Like I said, this is one of the OGs. This is actually a basketball shoe. You know, it, it was originally on the feet of NBA athletes back in the 70s. So what these guys have is a really nice synthetic suede, synthetic leather, synthetic leather, interior, synthetic leather. Absolutely no cushion to speak of. These guys right here, you can you can bend the uh, the, uh, the midsole. It's a, it's a vulcanized or cup sole. Tons of court feel though, and you have some really wicked traction as well. These guys right here have amazing traction. What's kind of funny is that these guys were a staple on the basketball court at the same time that these guys were. And you could see exactly how similar the two were. And in case you're wondering, Adidas came up with this design first. They created herringbone. Nike took it. Now something else that makes these kind of like the OG model is the unfinished tongue. They got that Nike on there with the original yellow padding. The padding that they use in shoes nowadays, this stuff on the inside is blue, which is why a lot of those white sneakers with the like white tongues and things like that look more on the blue side. But back in the day, this is what they used. Nike logo on the tongue, history on the back tab. And then to further emphasize the fact that these are OGs, they made these soles look like you just ran through a puddle of piss. I don't know if I'm gonna try to get rid of that. Originally when I bought them, I did want to, but I'm lazy when it comes to sneakers. I just like to put them on and use them for what they're meant for. So I don't know if I'm ever gonna get around to it. But if I do, I'll let you guys know on Instagram. But that pretty much takes care of it. I think that these things are awesome. I really enjoy the Nike Blazer. I had a pair of the OG versions. Not the OG versions, but I had a pair of these with that OG look, but they were uh, white and navy. And I've always wanted the red ones, so I'm glad that I actually ran into them because I love these things. Let me know what you guys think about the Nike Blazer. Let me know what you guys think about them ripping off the traction from Adidas. And let me know what your recent pickup steal has been. I grabbed these over at Nordstrom Rack for $50. To me, that's a steal. So let me know what your most recent pickup is that is a steal price. We'll give it around, if they're, if they're $60 or less, okay, that's a steal. So if you paid more than that, don't leave it in the comment section. I wanna know what your guys' last steal is. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support. I'll catch you guys on the next one. So until then, have a good one. Crazy. We got some kicks. Woo, damn. This is what I'm rocking today too. This is sick. Upgrade? Yo, these are dope, dude. Major shouts to Adidas, man. So that's it for now. I'm gonna go do my thing, and uh, if I remember or feel like it, I'll try to update you guys throughout the day, but you know, I don't like vlogging, so I'd like to experience life. I think those are super sexy. And then the other ones that are just as sexy, maybe even a tad bit sexier, are the black, white, with red stripes. I don't know what it is. I think it's because it's got that playoff-esque colorway but those are fire. Last but not least, the straight up just plain black and white colorway. Basically a reverse of these guys right here. I saw those at the Adidas event and I